But first, we are following breaking news. A judge siding with NBC Charlotte's request to release body camera video of a deadly officer involved shooting. Hello, everyone, and thank you for staying with us. For the news at six, I'm Fred Shropshire. And I'm Sarah French. Protesters gathering outside the Burger King where 27 year old Aquarius Franklin was shot and killed last month. They had one demand that CMPD release the body cam video. And on Monday, their demands will be met. NBC Charlotte defender Nathan Morbido is live in Uptown. Nate, you were in court today arguing for the release of that video. Yeah, our argument was really simple. This was a real time unfiltered account of what happened last month, something that we really don't know all the facts about at this point. We also said this video belongs to the public and the public should be able to see it. Well, my main concern right now is the family. City Council member Braxton Winston is holding up Danquiris Franklin's memory, knowing there are tough days ahead as they prepare to view the video of his death. Winston, who rose to prominence in the riots that followed the Keith Scott shootings, has remained outspoken about police use of force, including in this case. Do you think that whatever this video shows Monday, the city and the people of the city can react peacefully? A absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, people are, are, are going to be upset, no doubt. Judge Johnny Hoover ultimately decided there's compelling public interest to release the body camera footage. But it can't tell you everything. CMPD did not oppose our request, only asking to allow time for Franklin's family to view the video first before the public and let police redact the faces of three witnesses. Attorneys for the DA's office and the two officers at the scene that day argued it'd be better to delay the release much longer until after the investigations are complete so as not to compromise those investigations. Wendy Curl's attorney also argued letting the public view the video of her shooting this man could put her family's safety at even more risk than it already is. Officer Curl's uh, personal address has been posted on the internet. Um, there has been concerns for the safety of herself, her husband, and her children. So here's how it's going to work. CMPD will release the video to us at noon on Monday and to my counterpart at WBTV. By two o'clock, we will be able to release that video to you publicly. Now, while we don't know what that video will show specifically about Franklin's actions or the officer's actions, we do know it is going to be incredibly difficult to watch. You can only imagine how difficult it's going to be for his family and for the officers who were there that day. Mm. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte. Nate, thank you.